it working? Hi! I was watching a, Her a Herb Albert interview it's from 2011. It was on CBS. I'll, I'll leave a link to the to the. Hi, I'll leave a link to it. I'll leave a link to it in the description bar. Um, all these years, I I never paid any attention to um, the race of Herb Albert. I just had the assumption he was Mexican. That it was a. A, 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 that Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass was was a, a, a Mexican group, and and yeah, you can see well, how, how could you have thought that that I like their stuff. I I, I like Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass a lot. Um, I mean, you can say that's generic music all you want. I don't care if it's generic. I think it's I I think it's great. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I knew that he is the A in the A and M records. Um, you know, I know I knew about him uh, getting the Carpenters started. Um, I knew, you know, most of the stuff that was in the video, except when it came to after 1989, he just sort of quit the industry for the most part. Sold A and M records to some others, and uh, just started enjoying his life because he was just fed up with the, with the music industry and what it had become. And I mean, we can see what's happened since then. You know, we can see what happened even in the eighties. It, it um, he was fed up from what had happened over many years. So um, it's a fucked up industry, really. It's fucked up. Music industry is fucked up almost as fucked up as Hollywood um, but uh, yeah he then started to, to try to promote uh, things that will teach people music teach people the you know the I mean so we know the importance of music and and if you can't be a musician then at least you know know that there's there's more than than just sometimes just the surface layer stuff doesn't have to be any particular theory just to know that you that you're able to notice things in music other than just a beat and it makes you want to dance and you think the lyrics are fly right so <laughs> um fly or dope or cool or 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 primo or something right <laughs> so but what i didn't know about him is that he's like a a, a jewish russian uh is 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 a big part of his uh uh uh, 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 uh background his where's the word his background his not national background, not... Oh, a simple word is missing. <laughs> All right. Um, and that just kind of tripped me out. I, 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 I did not know that. And it made me think about the subject of cultural appropriation, which I had, had revisited in my head because of a video that Agent of Doubt had liked on Twitter, which was a gluteus video. I hadn't been subscribed to for a while. We had kind of a spat on Facebook. I thought he was being very over-the-top mean in a way that just didn't settle with me very well. And uh, but I eventually eventually got over that um I just just like well that's just who he is right um but I didn't unblock him on Facebook because I didn't want to lose a bunch of friends that I might even know in person if 
I didn't like immediately chastise his antics. Um, I've got a lot of, there are a lot of very, very touchy, uh, and not, not physical touch. I mean, like, I have a lot of friends that have, their views have sort of morphed into the whole dogmatic sociology activism. It's kind of morphed into it, and you, you can't, you, if you disagree with any little bit of it, you get unfriended, and then others see what you said, and then word spreads, and suddenly you have hundreds of people that have even blocked you. That's the atmosphere on Facebook. And so, I didn't unblock Gluteus on Facebook for that reason. And it's me being a wussy. It is. It's me being, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's me not having the courage because of the very nature of Facebook. It could fuck up my life. Rumors spread really quick in the gay community. I'll tell you that. So, I'd rather not even mess with that. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I kind of digressed a lot, like majorly a lot, I like totally a lot, like, oh my god. Um, but he was talking about the UN uh, trying, it, it, people trying to pressure the UN into creating, and it seems they're starting to, uh, they, well, there's a lot of people that agree with this whole notion of m making it an international law against cultural appropriation. So, you know, <laughs> culturally appropriate some something from a, from a, you could say an oppressed culture. What is, what is the word? They didn't use oppressed. That isn't the word they use. A, a smaller culture that may be struggling. It's not necessarily because of oppression. They're just, they're a smaller culture that, it, that is struggling. And when some other group comes and uh, takes some of the ideas from that and then makes money from it, you know, that sort of thing. You're not supposed to be able to do that. And so the Herb Albert, when I, when I realized that, oh, well, he's not Mexican. And it just made me go, wow. You know, uh, like I said, Herb Albert, I, I, I love the, I, I, particularly his old stuff, but there are some newer stuff. He has this, uh, uh, he did this version of uh, Michel um, that I heard a little clip of on his Twitter. I'm like, hey, that's, that's not bad. I couldn't tell whether the strings were keyboards or not. It seems that they are at points, but there's other points where it's just, well, that sounds real. So, I mean, keyboards have gotten, they, they've gotten pretty damn good at this point. Uh, um, I just think there needs to be more, uh, they need to add more things to uh, the, the, what you can adjust than what you normally find in MIDI. You have, you know, you have pitch bend and you have a, a modulation. Pitch bend wheel, modulation wheel. And it's just like, no, you, you need some more. You, you need some more things that affect the way that, that the instrument sounds at that particular moment. So that way, if, even if you had to do a bunch of overdubs with that same keyboard, um, that same sound, in order to create a larger sound, you could truly make it emulate instruments. Um, so when they do some of the initial sampling, they 
uh, people are doing they, they have them do a number of different things with the instruments playing that same pitch it's it's hard to explain uh, it, without going on for a long time like I already have so um, but it sounded good the uh, the it sounded pretty good it, and I was trying to figure out what the, the snare kind of sound was because it's not really a snare it's this and I like it when I can't figure out what what a sound is. I I, I am I kind of get excited about uh, someone figuring out a sound, it, on, on something that's basic that you hear again and again in a song that you can't really figure out what it is. Uh, I think that's cool. Anyway, um, I'd like to hear more from that album though. Uh, but no, I think I think Herb Albert is great. Um, and I just kind of wonder if now he's going, maybe he's going to start getting demonized for cultural appropriation, right? I mean, there's, there's one of the things about our culture that's brought us so much of this great stuff is the fact that things have been culturally appropriated. Um, I thought Gluteus's video was was pretty decent. He goes on in the ways that he goes on, and so do I. I go on in the ways I go on, like I've went on and on and on in this video. Um, but I, I think it was a decent video, and I will put that in the description bar as well. Um, Yeah, this idea that you can't, well, you can't get known for or can't, uh, can't get make a lot of money from something that isn't part of your culture. Mm. Mm, that's just, it's just, that's, that's kind of the antithesis of, uh, of of this country, uh, and you can go well. Yeah, it's the and it's kind of mixed with the colonialism and the, the okay, fine. You want a different government. Those of you who are, who are just still going on, so it's just wrong when people do. This. Fine, you want a different government. So, you know, I mean, a completely different government. Okay, and if you want a completely different government, then why don't you figure out how, to, you know, how how a like create a, a a hypothetical government from scratch and try to build everything upon that. See if you can figure out something a a, a better base than our constitution, with with all the amendments that have been added to it. See if you can figure out something better than that. If you can, you know, we, the world needs these ideas. Okay, we need these ideas. Okay, and if you, if you think you have something better than that, spit it out. Let it be known. But when all you're trying to do is fucking tear this down, you just, you, just, you just want to destroy this system? I mean, it's, it's, this system is eventually going to fall apart anyway. Why are you so busy trying to make your, make, to, to destroy it in a way that's going to be catastrophic for you and everybody else? In order for your kind of system to go into place, this one has to be destroyed. And you don't even have a plan for something to have in its place. You just want to destroy this. It's maddening. It's fucking maddening. Okay. Let's work with the system we have. Okay. And make sure your ideas work with the system we have. If they don't, think of something else. 
or move to a country where your ideas will be, be compatible with that government. Okay? I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't complain about things that are here, but if you expect the, the, the fundamentals of a country to completely change, the, the fundamentals, the basics, the, the, the building blocks for, for the system that we're in, if you want to completely destroy that, what, what's, what, what's wrong with you? Do you, do you not know what happens when governments crumble? And again, you don't seem to have a plan on what's going to replace it. What's wrong with you? That's insane. Shouldn't, I, I mean, it would seem to me that the kinds of rights that someone has, for instance, for like marriage, adding gay people to, to marriage is a type of right that Okay, I'm going to probably have to edit this video, otherwise it's going to be too long because there's going to be too many damn pauses. Ugh. I got totally distracted with that message. Um... Oh, God damn. No, no, just stop. 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 I, no. Oh, God. All right. Um, here, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and, uh, do, do, do. System notifications. Do, do, do. Off. Thank you. All right. So now let's see if I can get back on track. Um, to me, the things that we should be mainly focusing on in this country it would be in in more in the name of some of the concepts it was founded on and that is is the notion of freedom um if this group over here is free to do this then so should all so should any other group is the is some of the the basic premise of things and so when you get to marriage you know well if this group gets to do it then all these other groups should get to do it and i i, I believe that strongly i think if if a group of people want to get married they're all consenting adults they're not direct uh you know brother sister um then go for it you know and they have the same rights as any any other people that are married and you can say well well then that's crazy that 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 makes a mockery of marriage you know it on the legal side it's still the same thing you know now if you if now at that point we might be asking well maybe we should keep um the law out of marriage altogether and that's a good, I just want to make sure it's actually recording, yes. Um, and that's a good argument. I some, I, I actually, not even sometimes, I, I kind of think one of the best ways to solve that whole thing is to, is to remove the, the legal side of marriage. It's just, no, it's, you don't, you don't get any more, 
you know, there's there's no extra rights that you get that anyone else, um, you know, you could you could file some sort of joint business or something like that. Um, there, we could create new, you know, deals, legal deals that people could make, but it's not attached to some uh, religious ceremony, right? Um, I, I, I kind of still tilt towards that. I've, I've tilted towards that for a while, but, you know, if we can't do that, then we do need to keep adding. We do need to keep making sure that we allow anyone who, again, is an adult, consenting adult, they want to get married, then, you know, group of people or whatever. Um, let them do it. Um... You know, that's the side of things that I think is really great to focus on. Those kinds of rights. Um, you know, again, one group gets to do something, then so should the other groups. Um, you know, it's why we allow for things for uh, 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 KKK uh, uh, people to, uh, uh, to have marches. It's why we allow Westboro Baptist Church to say the stuff that they do. You know, it's that's why. And there are people. There seem to be people that are just completely out of touch with that in, that entire concept of that. They're just. They're just. I, I mean, they don't. They don't see it at all. I mean, it's. It's just. It's not there. They don't get it. And you know what? This this happens on both sides. You got the you got some of the religious people that are thinking they have these special rights or should have these special rights, and sometimes they're granted these special rights. Then you have some of these other groups in the name of e equal equality of outcome are trying to push for all these these other things that are not able to apply to other people. Well, you you get this because you know here you get a prize because you're part of an oppressed group. Now I understand we should help everyone. We should, and there are, th you know, if we do need to put, if we do need to, like, we could have a set of, of initial guidelines, but we don't have to stick to those guidelines as an ex of, as if it's some uh, uh, zero tolerance kind of thing, you know, it's, uh, uh, e you know, binary. You know, I think in situations where people are being helped, there are usually, there's usually some someone involved in getting people um, that help. So, You know, make sure that every person and everyone's case is handled individually. They have to get more information. They have to, you know. And you know what? Some people will make some bad decisions, but it's better than these stupid zero tolerance ways that things seem to get done right now. I don't think we should do that. Now, if if they can't get rid of the zero tolerance things, then we kind of have to, uh, I don't know. That's, that's the real root of the problem. Um, anyway, you know, where, where some people just aren't, some people aren't able to get help because they're the majority demographic. You know, they, they don't fit this particular profile enough. They didn't check they didn't check the right box. Even if though if they explain the situation, they'd be like, Oh shit, no, you you, you get this help. Nope, nope, because of this this, you know, set of yeses and no's. Nope, sorry. Anyway, um And having said all of that, I I I believe in 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 it will probably become necessary if if this country survives, 
you know, once we see the negative sides to uh, automation, we're going to have to we're going to have to get some devise some sort of universal basic income. And that can be made to work with a, a capitalistic system. But we're going to have to do something like that. Or or we're at peop, or people are going to die on a massive scale. That's in the future though. Probably it's, it's it'll be at least 10 years in the future is what I imagine. I'm, although if there are some there's a number of things that could happen that could make it sooner, but um, and there are things that could happen that could make it you know take 20 years or something like that. But we're 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 going to see some some negative things coming up when it comes to uh, the middle class dropping out um, when when automation starts to really kick in, um, and that would be the, the the decisions we make at that point will decide. In other countries as well, we'll decide whether capitalism dies or whether um, it's able to be modified in such a way that it can continue. But uh, or the systems that use capitalism, you know, are modified in such a way that it can continue, and the people living under it can still have a, re a reasonable quality of life, um, and well, are able to survive. So, but the the one thing oh this is the one thing I wanted to say about I knew there was some some other thing I wanted to say. If the UN is success is successful in making it an international law that's that that makes it illegal to do cultural appropriation i guarantee you that that is when all of the musicians and the artists and and the creative people are going to go uh no fuck you and we're going to do more of that than you've ever seen and in actuality that rebellion will probably be a very good thing for us we will see a, a, an uptake, uptake, up punch, up something, uh, tick maybe, in this creative flow that we kind of lost around 1998. So, how long is this now? Oh my God, it's almost it's 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 28 minutes and something seconds because you know by the time I'm finished saying this it'll it'll be you know and, and now I'm picturing Yosemite Sam saying uh, uh, shut up shutting up so 